in third place. Lee Haney Uosa. Along came Lee Haney, a kid from Spartanburg. A gifted youngster, but no one knew he would become Mr. Olympia. You know, coming from a small hometown called Spartanburg, South Carolina, you know, nobody knew what bodybuilding was. I was around 11 years old oh, okay. at that time. You know, they got me a set of plastic weights. I guess the clay on the inside of them. And with that came a small uh, a book, Charles Atlas. <laughs> so that was my uh, Bible as far as uh, exercise was concerned. And man, I would use it every day. You know, I got home, I would read and I would study. And then of course, we would make our way into the city on, on Saturdays. And I would rush to the newspaper stand to see what was happening in the world of bodybuilding with Joe Weeders, Muscle Builder, and then you had uh, Iron Man Magazine, Dan Leary, uh, Muscle Training Illustrated. So those were the exercise and the weight training Bibles. Lee Haney did his first ever bond building show when he was 16 years old. And so I wanted to enter my first show, which was the Mr. South Carolina. They didn't have a teenager at that time. So I was, uh, I think, 16. Right. 16. And uh, posing trunks, what are posing trunks? <laughs> to me, they were a pair of underwear from Kmart. <laughs> so I, I got a pair of underwear. They was, I can still remember them. They were blue with a red stripe. And, Heaney got into bodybuilding because he broke his leg twice playing high school football. That is, he had this massive uh, muscle structure, but his bones were, and joints were smaller. That's how come he got the, the taper. I then began to train a little, a little harder. Well, I was training hard anyway, but got more information on training, you know, being around some of the older bodybuilders. I would pick up different points from them. And I entered what is called the Palmetto, the Mr. Palmetto, which was in Greenville, South Carolina, at the age 18, and I won that show. Mm -hmm. Then a few months later, I entered the Mr. South and won that show. And in both of those competitions, you know, at the age of 18, I beat men that was 30 years old and 40. So that said to me, say, hey, maybe, maybe you got something, got something special here. In 1980, Lee Haney got injured. 1980, I sustained an injury to my wrist, which uh, I guess you would call it, an I developed a ganglion cyst right. here in my wrist. So that set me back in 1980 I had to go through the healing process of that. So I had to back away from that and have surgery. But afterwards, it's amazing. I sat down with two of my gym buddies. We were gym rats. I said, in 1982, I will shock the world of bodybuilding. I said that with my friends. So I won the Atlanta USA 1982, which qualified me for the Junior Nationals. I won that in 1982, which then qualified me for the NPC Nationals. I won that in 1982, which then qualified me for the IFBB World Championship, which was held in Belgium. I won that in 1982. Sure. So in 1982, 
I shocked the world of bodybuilding just as it was spoken. In 1983, Lee Haney competed in his first Mr. Olympia. In the contest, he could only manage to finish third. So here I'm preparing for the first go-round, man, and uh, I peaked at 243 pounds. I went into that show, I placed third. You know, Samir won it that year, and I think Muhammad Makawi took second. I took third, Frank Zane took fourth. In third place, Lee Haney Oyosa. In nineteen eighty four, Lee Haney came like a monster. In this year, they didn't have any chance against him. He was insane. Lee Haney came along with a combination of size uh, and good aesthetics. There was nothing blocky about Lee. He had a great shape. Previous year, I weighed 243, but we didn't show it 233. I had went back and figured out through my notes and study what had went wrong. Because no one had stepped on the Olympia stage at that weight and at that height, you know. So I knew that was a winning package. I always knew that if I was a combination of Arnold, Robbie, Frank Zane, Ed Corny, who can beat that? And I felt that that's, that's what I had achieved. Because I knew when I peaked at 243, with symmetry, balance, with the look of Robbie, with the look of Arnold, and a posing routine like a Frank Zane, that was a winning combination. So that's what I worked upon achieving in 1984. And as I prepared for that competition, I prepared like, like never before. He wasn't as prepared for 1984 as, uh, as he was the previous year. And I don't think anybody was prepared for Lee Haney. Well, man, it's like a dream come true. I mean, golly, winning the Muscle Olympic is a miracle in itself. You know, to be there with, on the same stage with uh, Robbie Robinson and Serge Olivier was there. Wow. You know, that was absolutely incredible. It was like a like a dream come true, man. And to to be to be the winner and the victor, wow. <laughs> Mr. Olympia, a big hand for Lee Haney!